wealth, fame, power. Or in this case, splooge, frame, geo. This season we got a new dungeon in the Vespers host, and let me tell you, bro, we've gone over these weapons all in one video, but today we're gonna be shining that spotlight from Hollywood, baby, on one specific weapon from the new dungeon, that being our new area denial frame, or as I like to call them, splooge frame grenade launchers, okay? Its name is the Velocity Baton, and this frame of grenade launchers was introduced to us with the final shape inside of the episode of Echoes with the Lost Signal. Now, these frames of grenade launchers are probably some of the best utility weapons that you could possibly get. They're not the best in, like, doing major damage, definitely not for boss damage. They're not designed for that. But what they lack for in that field, they make up for in every other category that you would ever care about. And in this video, I would just like to go ahead and talk about it, blaze it up a bit, because I was kind of sleeping on this just a little bit. Now, I do want to be honest with y'all that I don't have the quote-unquote god role of all god roles for this weapon in particular, but I do have a feasible, workable role. And let's go ahead and throw up that purple, shall we? So, when we first look at this, you'll see that there are definitely some interesting perk combinations okay obviously since it's a void weapon we all know that bungie loves to put on repulsor brace and destabilizing rounds for every single void weapon in the game doesn't matter if it's in the heavy slot energy slot or kinetic slot or primary heavy or special but i just realized i said yeah dude they could put destabilizing repulsors on a kinetic slot weapon yeah because you can have a void weapon in your kinetic slot bro i just woke up it's like nine in the morning y'all 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 cut your boy k re a little bit of that slot my boy come on now although of all weapons to have the repulsor destabilizing round Roll. I feel like this one actually makes a little bit of sense, right? You're gonna be using this in big groups of enemies, so making them volatile and then making them explode could be pretty useful. Now, in the third column, I gotta be honest. I believe there's a clear cut number one perk to go for here. Man, I think anybody who plays this game a decent amount, y'all already know we're leaning towards. We're leaning towards that demolitionist, baby. Ooh, yeah. On a frame like this, demolitionist is gonna be really, really good because you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck with each shot of your splooge frame because with each singular shot, it shoots multiple of those small little pools that you can kind of spread across an entire room while you shoot it and get a lot of crowd control with one shot. More than you would get with like, you know, the Wither Horde. And these frames of GLs are generally referred to as Wither Horde but legendary. So I would strongly recommend Demolitionist. I have Demolitionist on the one that I'm using in the background gameplay, and let me tell you, yeah, very, very good perk, especially on these frames of weapons. Always one of the better perks in the game, no exception here. I want that fourth column, my boy. Look, I know it has bait and switch, and the one that I'm using in the background gameplay, it does have bait and switch on it, but for this specific style of frame, I'm not gonna recommend bait and switch. I'm, I'm not really gonna recommend bait and switch on any special weapon, because bait and switch is definitely more of a heavy weapon perk, because that's what you're gonna be using for boss damage most of the time. So bait and switch on a special weapon, it looks cool, but it's not realistically all that insane, but it could still be useful. It's not like it's useless, okay? But the number one perk in the fourth column, without a doubt, easily, far and away, it's attrition orbs. When you need orbs, you generally go about it with siphon mods, heavy handed, or firepower. Except for this style frame of weapon with attrition orbs, because this just spews, spews out orbs with attrition orbs on it. Because the way the attrition orbs works is that each of the little pools that this grenade launcher shoots counts towards proccing attrition orbs. So you shoot one shot of this into a crowd of like four or five enemies. Dude, you're gonna make like three or so orbs. No cap, this weapon is an orb ginning machine. I'm a little mad that I don't have it yet. Obviously, if you wanna farm for the Velocity Baton, definitely hit up the first encounter. You can hit up the Oob Cheese if you want to and try and farm them as quick as you can because, dude, the Trish Orb is just so, so good on this weapon. I don't have it yet, but I'm working on it and I hope you're working on it too. Thank you for watching the video. Y'all take care, be safe, adios.